Hello, my name is Jose Duran, and today I'm going to be showing you my five artifacts that represent my cultural background. So today I'm going to be showing you about five items, four of which I have on me, and one of which I have to show a picture because unfortunately I couldn't find it. So, okay, so let's get into it. So first, I am wearing a silver cross, oh, here I'll show you a cross necklace given to me by my great grandfather. This is actually supposed to, here, I'll get more into the story that I explained. Okay, so this was given to me about seven years ago from my great grandfather, uh, about a year before he passed. And the reason he gave it to me was because he's a very spiritual man and he always entrusted me with a lot of information and a lot of he really opened my eyes to a lot of the spiritual and cultural side of our family when it comes to being um, a Mexican-American and Christian. So he gave me this as a representation of to remember him. And this also has a cross, which is also another artifact because this is showing one part of it, but there's another part that I have, which here, I'll just show you a picture of right now. Here you go. This is the second part of the cross, or of the of this chain. This is supposed to be what goes, oh, I don't know if you guys can see that, I'm so sorry. Here you go, there you go, that's a better. Yeah, this is supposed to be going onto here, but we cannot find it. And um, giving a bit about this, this is a little bit more important because this is casted in silver that my great grandfather actually had silver, which he gave to a, a smith to be able to weld it down and be able to treat the cross. So I find that this is very special to me because it shows and represents that he had the time and the effort to willing to go out of his way to make this. And he's had it for so long. He had it for about 15 years and it was very special for me to be able to have it in my possession and be able to wear it. I don't wear it as often as I should and I know I shouldn't, but I feel like every time I do wear it, it gives me a, a very close connection with him. And it's just very special to me. And these two items really represent a lot to me. And especially when they're together, it feels like he's right next to me. Okay, so we'll move on to the next step. So right here is my grandfather's ring from my mother's side. The one I was explaining to you right now is from my father's side. Um, he is still alive. He is uh, 76. And he gave me this ring. It's just a regular black ring with a single uh, black stone in there. I don't know if the stone is, uh, is actually anything or if it's just uh, in there. But the reason why I wanted to show this also is because this is something I've been wearing every single day since he's given it to me in 2017. I've wore this ring everywhere and it gives me the sense of like my grandfather and me have had a lot of fishing trips and we've had a lot of time to sort of bond one-on-one -on -one with each other and really be able to like understand each other emotionally and spiritually and me and my grandfather opened up about a lot we've had a lot of problems in our lives and I feel like once he gave this to me, it was giving me that sense of security, you know, that I have someone I can come to because for a lot of my life, my parents have been very busy and have never really had the time to really talk to me about sort of my feelings and sort of how life goes, if you know what I mean, as sort of like the bumpy roads because they were sort of put into this life, you know what I mean? They were sort of, they came here at a young age and they're sort of thrown into it. And I kind of understand from my grandfather's side that he did have struggles as well, but he really did enlighten me to be able to hone in on my spiritual self and be able to come together and really be able to keep myself together during really, really bad times in my family. And the ring just means a lot to me. And to have him be able to still be here and he sees me wearing it, 
I honestly feel very, very, very privileged to be able to do that. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this little thing has quite a bit of story to it. So in my family, when you turn about five years old, we have this tradition where we have a toy box that is filled with about five different toys and each one is made of different materials. So one is made of wood, which is a train. Another one made of silver, which is literally just a rattle. <laughs> um, the third one is made of plastic, which I think is just like one of those things where like you stick the, t it's like a, it's like a, uh, a wooden uh, sort of like plank in the middle and then, and then the, the, each ring is like plastic and you stack on top of each other, yeah. And um, the fourth one is made of, I think, copper. And it's just a cup, it's just a cup. I don't think it's a toy, <laughs> but they just put it in there. Um, and when it comes to the fifth one, it's a, it's like a rope. I don't know how to explain it to you. The thing is, I couldn't bring the, cause if not, I would have just brought those items because in our family, being able to play with those toys is sort of like you're reaching a point of your life where they want you to experience everything, if you know what I mean. So when they have us play with these, not every single one of the toys is the same. Every toy is different. Every toy is made different with the different material and something else that it can be used for. So what my family is does this for is because it shows us that it doesn't matter what we're given in life. It doesn't matter if we're given a wooden spoon or a roll of duct tape or a rope. Each toy is to signify that life is more than you can make it if you just use your imagination. If you just keep pushing and you use your imagination and you put your mind to making things more than what they are. Sort of like if you're giving cards Learn how to play with the cards you're dealt. And with this key, it opens up sort of like the world to you in my family when you get to a certain age. And it gives you the ability to understand how unfair the world is and how sometimes you just got to make the best of it. For my last artifact, this will be a gem necklace given to me by my grandmother. So the significance of this necklace is she was given the gem when she was 23 years old and she formed it actually into a necklace when she said she was in her 30s. She doesn't know exactly when she made it, but the reason she gave it to me was because my grandfather passed away uh, in 2018, at the beginning of 2018, right after New Year's. and. When well, my grandparents went, well, my, my grandparents, when well, my parents went to Missouri, because that's where they live at, to be able to be there for the funeral, my grandmother gave my father this necklace and told my grand, my father to give it to me. And when I was on the phone with her and she was trying to explain to me sort of the significance of why she thought about making this was because she said that she could feel my grandfather's energy in this little stone. And she thought it wasn't fair for her to sort of keep her energy around just him or her. She wanted to be able to share the energy that he had with other parts of the family. And she felt like this would be the best way for me to be able to have a little piece of him with me because she is a very spiritual and religious woman and I just trust in her so much and believe that there's another side. And being able to be given this at that time is just such a special moment and it makes me feel very special that she wanted me to have this. Out of everyone, people have been choosing me to have things and I'm just so grateful and so special to be able to have the opportunity to even hold some of these items that some of my family members didn't get to. So I really appreciate it and thank you so much for listening.